in a world where extreme competition exists everywhere what does it take to have success in your career and in life join me nirvana chaudhary as i sit down with some of the most successful individuals to discover the secrets to the success what continues to drive them and to hear a few exclusive stories in the process what drives them and their success code their mantra for making it bigger Hello everyone this is Nirvana Chaudhary back with my podcast making it bigger today i have with me someone so special someone now pride of nepal known to the world a world record holder 14 peaks above 8000 meters ex special forces nirmal purja aka nims dai thank you so much for being here on the show with me nims uh i want to start off with one simple way i always do what is your success mantra what is it that keeps you going man wow anyway um super pleased to be here with you my brother and uh, i think success can be defined in different perspective um but for me it's all about um in achieving the impossible just to give an example when i was with the gurkhas uh, when i said and i want to join the special forces in a special boat service t1 in the uk uh, special forces operations some of the people who i look up to including obviously you know my officers to my commanders and all they were saying nims is impossible none any other gurkha have done this Nepal you know is a land of country coming from there you know SBS you know not only they operate from air water you have to obviously dive as well so it's under water is extra skills can you do that and then for me it was like if you do it for something that's vague something that you trying to prove the point you may not be successful but for me I just really wanted to be that cool guy in you know, amongst that elite group you know who go and out 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 and do the job. So I really believe in that. I had a big passion and uh, as long as you believe in yourself, again I say as long as you believe in yourself, you will achieve it. Because if you can't believe in yourself, who else going to believe in you? Right? <laughs> Fantastic. So yeah. Fantastic. So well, that's that's absolutely great following your heart your passion putting your mind to it and once you've decided it boom you just go at it i yeah. mean it's the it's the top of the ever speak that you go on for yeah and and exactly just to give an example again you know where a lot of people can relate with this is for example when you are going for something bigger better you will always find someone trying to pull your legs you will always find someone who's going to talk negative about <laughs> it there's always someone you know there's going to say oh you can't do this and all that but but for you as a person for me anyway that should be a a blur that's not in the focus right your focus is always in the mission if you spend your time trying to convince those people who say that you can do it if you spend your time you know trying to obviously you know like fight against them or trying to like make that you know you are wasting your energy you just focus on your mission and then and then that's where it comes right time is key we all have only 24 hours in a day and uh, we got to make make the best of it um so here again the point is guys in life wh- whatever you want to do you always find negativity don't focus on that you do your thing you focus on the mission and rest of the things is just a noise fantastic you know this is this is absolutely amazing trait a leader has i think once you've got the environment set mm-hmm. you have your heart set you've uh, developed an expertise in your passion you've calculated the environment and once you have uh, really clearly define what your mission is you just go straight at it without looking left and right there're going to be people pulling you down etc now tell me you know you've you've spent most of your time in the uk you've you spent most of your time traveling around the world and seeing different cultures and different environment and different level of professionalism you are definitely today 
a pride of Nepal. You are what I would like to say is the is the highest peak of a Nepalese ambassador taking Nepal to the world. Uh, you're spending a lot more time in Nepal, and uh, we see a lot of uh, political changes. We see the youth who are frustrated. How how do you how do you how do you take all that in your head? Like, do you get frustrated? Do you see hope? That's a very good question, uh, but I must say it's a very tough. Um, well, brother, you know we must not give our hope, right? As long as you hope, you believe. We can make make things happen. Yes, of course, Nepal is a third world country. Things probably aren't going the way you wanted, but we should never give up hope. Let's let's keep working on that. Let's keep educating. You know, let's start with our family. You know, let's. A lot of people when I when I meet lots of youngsters, they say, "Oh, I don't have interest in politics." But you know what? The politicians are the one. Who has got a huge impact in the country? For example, if you don't like any leaders, you need to be educating your family, because we are the one who give vote, right? So I think as long as we start from our home and we start thinking for the bigger picture, we can make things happen. Nothing is impossible. <laughs> Absolutely, be the change you want to see. Nothing is impossible. Um, you know, I, that's one book I really, really want to read in days to come. But uh, tell me, Nims. Uh, you know, you what I one thing I've realized is that no matter what mission you have, no matter what goal you have, you always have this amazing habit of always taking your team with you, appreciating them, recognizing them, and you have a I would say you have a soft corner for all the right reasons towards the Sherpa community, towards the community who's been with you. Uh, through all your missions, and you're doing so much uh, for that community. Uh, a little bit about what you're doing for them, or what you're trying. Yeah, in terms look, of recognizing them. Yeah, again, you know, the the whole reason why I started Project Possible was to raise the name of the Nepalese climbers, uh, bring into the global platform, and and the thing what I did on K2 Winter is exactly the same. Uh, you know, taking ten members on the summit. Of the world, dangerous mountain K2, um, I had to do it. Uh, but for me, um, coming into the whole leadership, brother, if you are a leader that just worries about you, then I think you're gonna fail it because leadership is the point you put yourself as number one before your team. You will never achieve the impossible. Yes, you can achieve something, but to a certain degree. But as a leader, if you put always your team at the front, because that's the what is going to make the huge difference. You're not going to succeed. For example, the Facebook, any team like Elon Musk, Tesla, anything, they all have a huge team behind them. And leadership is not only about yourself. You got to put your team front, and the team will put you in front. Right, absolutely, <laughs> and and the beauty about it is, when you're a leader who's been recognized, you know it's so humbling to be able to bring your rest of the team also in the same plot. And I remember this really emotional video where you took your entire team with you, when I think you were mm -hmm. summiting K2. K2, yeah. All of you were reciting the national anthem of mm -hmm. Nepal and walking towards the thing. That was that. I think it takes an outstanding leader to do something like this. So that's. That's brilliant, you know, uh, Nims. I, you know, I was talking to a mutual friend of ours, and he was telling me, you know, I've known Nims since I was a, I was a child, and you know what I'm talking <laughs> about, right? Okay. And he said, you know, you tell this guy you can't do this, and he is gonna do it. He's gonna do it. Hundred percent. And then again, coming back into this, it's not about ego or it's not about anything. You know, if you believe in something. The believe word is key, um, and you put your in a hundred percent with a positive mindset and determination. You can make anything possible, brother. Mind over matter, you know, Nims. Um, we are extremely proud of you, as a friend, as a brother, as someone who represents this country. You're doing some amazing things. Uh, what else can we expect? What new, what new surprise can we expect from Nims that is again gonna put Nepal to the global map? Brother, I keep saying I haven't even started it. <laughs> so stay tuned. 
Brilliant, guys. This is this has been an absolute uh, amazing. Just imagine, you know, uh, less than ten minutes of talking to a legend, uh, and and I have learned so much from this call, from this conversation already. Uh, Names, thank you so much for taking time out for this podcast, and we are really proud of you, and we we hope you reach the stars, uh, not in literal sense, otherwise yeah. you're gonna get that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah. The Nirvana brother, absolute pleasure. And since my K2, uh, other than Harley Davidson podcast, you are the other one that I have done it. Absolute pleasure, man. I love you. I respect you. And big thank you for what you're doing for the country. Thank you so much, brother. Stay safe. Cheers, my man.